we began with a definition of learning in terms of statistical risk minimization, but we have evolved into a definition in terms of what we will see now is empirical risk minimization. This is a form of learning that bypasses models by trying to imitate observations as opposed to imitating models. Let us formulate this mathematically. Get a pencil because it might get heavy. Henceforth, we will use the term AI and ML to refer to the pipeline illustrated in this block diagram. In this pipeline, we learn from data samples, not distributions, data samples. The AI attempts to imitate input-output pairs we have observed in nature and have incorporated into a training set. Statistical risk minimization works on a pointwise cost L of x, phi of x, averaged over the distribution of input-output pairs. It operates on a statistical cost. The epistemological value of expectations is that they are well approximated by averages. We can therefore approximate the statistical cost with data. To do so, we acquire a training set calligraphic T containing capital Q input-output pairs XQ, YQ. These pairs are drawn independently from the distribution PXY. Given these samples, we know that for sufficiently large Q, it is possible to approximate the expectation with an average. That is, instead of evaluating the statistical risk by taking the expectation highlighted in blue, we evaluate the empirical risk highlighted in red. The empirical risk is an average over the data samples xq, yq. That the empirical risk is close to the statistical risk for a given function phi is just a particular statement of the law of large numbers. We may quibble over the meaning of what it means for the number of samples q to be large or what it means that the empirical and statistical risk are close. Conceptually, however, the proximity of these two quantities holds under very mild conditions. One would therefore be very well justified in replacing the statistical risk minimization with an empirical risk minimization. Thus, instead of learning the optimal statistical classifier, phi star sub s, which minimizes the statistical average of the pointwise losses, we learn the optimal empirical classifier phi star sub e, which minimizes the empirical average of the pointwise losses. Given that the objectives are close for any function phi, which we have just seen follows from the most basic fact of probability theory, one would think that the optima are also close. That is, that phi star sub s and phi star sub e are similar if the number of samples q is sufficiently large. One would be thoroughly disappointed. This is not true. The statistical minimizer phi star s and the empirical minimizer phi star e need not be close. If you care to know why we have gone wrong, the formal mistake is in exchanging a limit with a minimization. The minimum of the limit of a sequence is not the same as the limit of a sequence of minima. The importance of the why notwithstanding, I am more interested, and I want you to be more interested, in how we go wrong. In particular, I want you to realize that the solution to the ERM program is trivial. You just need to make the optimal AI copy the output YQ for all of the inputs XQ that appear in the training set. As long as you do that, the pointwise losses L of YQ, comma, phi of XQ vanish for all Q, and the empirical risk is null. Since the loss function is non-negative, this is the minimum possible value for the empirical risk. 
but this is just as trivial as it is nonsensical, because it yields no information whatsoever about observations that are outside the training set. Any function in which phi of xq copies the corresponding output value yq is optimal in empirical risk. The outputs phi of x for inputs that are not part of the training set can be arbitrary. They do not appear in the cost. We have learned nothing about what goes on outside of the training set.